Hey folks, Temple here. Welcome to another Pokemon. It's me and Lava in a doubles battle. Today I'm rocking a new Pokemon, which is Starmie, and my opponent is bringing in a Typlosion, Mewstick, Live Rock, and Pangora. Now this was quite uh, pretty much a like a not a sweep, but more like a one-man traffic kind of incident with poor Pangora, you know, going up against my um, Nine Tails. But if you want to see how this battle progressed, then let's dive into the battle and see how it all unfolded. So we start off the battle with Lava charging me to a fight, so basically it was a dull battle, and Lava brings out Mewstick and Typlosion. I'm thinking, right, Typlosion, are you the Erupt set? And Mewstick, we all know you are a very tricky uh, opponent, so I bring out Charizard and Ninetales, and it was pretty much a start with a snow warning, you know, normal, you know, affair. And um, yeah, it started a hail, and as we prepare for battle, I mean, I'm using normal time, guys, because, you know, it was a quick battle, so... You know, Mewstick gets um, withdrawn, and then Pangoro comes out, and I'm thinking, right, Pangoro, you're weak to holy, sorry, fairy attacks, holy attacks? <laughs> I'm thinking too much of Final Fantasy. Anyhow, I use my Keystone and activate Charizard X to add it, you know, bulk and power. So, yeah, I'm already on the offensive here. And then I activate Lower Veil, get the defense up, so that means, you know, most of the attacks will be, you know, lowered up. So, Lower Veil, you know, is up, and the Typhlosion uses Sunny Day. Now, I was a bit surprised at Sunny Day, um, yeah, that's a bad move because for two reasons. One, I have a Charizard, which my fire attacks are going to get a massive boost. So I think it was to, you know, boost um, Typlosion's powers, but I'm surprised to use Eruption. So basically, Bullet Punch comes in from Pangoro, boom, thanks to a lower veil, I'm alive just. And then I use Dazzling Gleam, which unfortunately for Pangoro, who is four times weak to Fairy, dies. And it doesn't matter to Typlosion, but... Pangora was my main target here. You know, get rid of Pangora and Typhlosion uses Substitute. I'm thinking, Substitute? Okay, what kind of set is this? And Spinder said it could be the um, the Flamethrower set. Well, you know, you hide in the sun just burn a Flare Blitz. But that wasn't going to happen because Fly just came crashing in and just removed the sub. So I was pretty much saying to him, yeah, not going to happen. So I use, you know, my leftovers to keep going. And then we have a Lyrock. Which is the midday form, sorry, the dusk form. I keep getting this, this three forms now. So this is a dusk form. Now this was interesting. I was fasting all of them, which was interesting. I mean, Typhlosion, yeah, he voided the Blizzard. But I was fasting Lyrock, I'm thinking, hey, hang on, Lyrock's supposed to be faster than any of us. Then Drago clicks in and pretty much gets rid of Typhlosion. So I'm thinking, yeah, I'm not letting you have everything your own way. I could have used Flamethrower, but it was going to work against um, Typhlosion. Then Drill kicks in, bang. Goodbye, Ninetales, but... To be fair, I mean, the job was done, pretty much. And then Lyrock lose some HP, so I'm thinking, hey, hang on, are you a Life Orb set here? And then I bring out Starmie, my newest Pokemon, and we got Meowstic, and I'm thinking, Meowstic is going to be probably a pain if it's got, like, a lot of paralyzed shenanigans. So, basically, the next attack came from me, which was a Z-Move, which is the uh, Water Vortex for my Starmie. I pretty much targeted Lyrock with this. I'm thinking, right, I best get rid of Lyrock, because you're a Rock type. I'm a Water type. You can see where this is going. So yeah, I use the Water Vortex. Now, sorry, Hydro Vortex. Now, no, in normal cases, this would be weaker because you know any water attack would be weaker, weaker because of Sunny Day. But because I'm using the Z move, it boosts my attack right up. So basically, yeah. And plus that was a stab move as well. So yeah, Portal Arrow had no chance. Meowstic uses Thunderbolt. Now Thunderbolt, I was thinking, okay, and use it on Starmie. It is effective, but I would probably have used it on my Charizard because my Charizard's not that strong against you know, specials. But unfortunately, Meowstic gets hit with Dragon Claw, and Meowstic is pretty much done for. So basically, I scowled, finished the job, and that is game over, and GG to my opponent. But I do feel that the first play, you know, the whole Sunny Day thing, was a bad play. And the reason I'm saying it's a bad play, guys, is because when you've got a Charizard on the field, it's that's me shouting, yes, I have a fire thing, you give me Sunny Day, oh, I'm going to enjoy this. So, yeah, you should have looked at who was first, and uh, to be honest, I think that was a bit of a bad move on, you know, Larvae's part with Typlosion. Pangoro, let's be honest, it, bad thing to bring it out, because I, I understand people might not think, you know, might think, oh, you might not have any fairy moves, but you got to remember, Allure Ninetales has both Ice and Fairy type typings in its name, so it's going to have a fairy type move of some description. And um, that's it. That's pretty much the bell, folks. If you like the videos, please like, share, and subscribe. Ring the dinner bell, and I'll see you in the next Pokemon Bell. I'll catch you later.